Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am bringing back my <laughs> special baby, my surprise baby. Surprise to me, surprise to y'all. Rah rah, she's it. <laughs> so, um, over the night, she's this is her first morning after her arrival and I am still taking it in and I am, of course, just really connecting of why I couldn't get past the sculpt as much as I wanted to. Um, the, the face on this baby, this is gonna sound cruel, but it is the truth and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this out here. She has such a piggly nose, right? She has a little pig nose and my oldest daughter and my son, my only son, they both have this little nose. <laughs> um, and I don't know, it's like, and then my grandbaby, she, she kind of, she doesn't, her nose isn't as pickly, but sometimes it is. I don't know, but anyway, they, they have this face. It looks, looks like this. Um, I think this sculpt, you have to be very careful with how it's painted because it could not go so well. Um, but I think, again, Jennifer Linkerix did an amazing job with capturing the look for her. And where, you know, I don't know, it just feels, it feels very familiar to me um, with her being in my, my nursery. I'm going to actually go into a little something that goes beyond dolls. And I know... Some of you guys be like, oh, why does everything have to be so serious, da, 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 da. But let me, let me, let me explain something that I'm going to admit myself. I think that a lot of times we definitely run away from certain features of which where we might say it's overpronounced or whatever the case may be. Because for years and years and still to this day, we are told that these things are less than they're not um we're we're t basically it's a negative or spoken uh in a derogatory sense when mentioned like our our uh big lips or big nose or you know like i said piggly notice i said piggly nose because that's how people refer to it as a piggly nose like it's you know, it's, and, and, okay, a pig is not really necessarily considered to be something cute, right? Um, and even though to this day we got people getting, um, what do you call those things where they doing the, the lips, they're getting their lips injected, um, so that they can have fuller lips and they're getting, you know, their noses redone. Some of them, I think they get them smaller. Some of them have gotten fatter, um, but just a lot of different things people tan to get darker yet black people are uh when you're darker skin tone you tend to a lot of times have less opportunities for jobs um people don't consider you to be as pretty as a light-skinned person um and this is not this is just in general so i think when we even it trickles down into when we see dolls or like uh uh i don't want it I have actually seen this in some of my friends, but didn't think that I was guilty of it as well. Because when I I had this one friend, I showed her a particular doll because I thought it kind of favored her, but I didn't say that to her. Um, it had full lips like hers and blah, blah, blah. And she said, oh yeah, I just don't like those lips. I don't want no baby with no big lips. And I'm thinking like, but you have big lips. And I was thinking to myself, it's a form of self-hatred um, where you've been taught not to love that feature about yourself. So easy for me to see it on somebody else but can't see it within my own self, if that makes sense. That's all I wanted to say on that piece. Um, I do think some dolls are over-exaggerated. I do think when they start looking a bit like little monkeys and little apes, I start to feel a little type of way. I don't think that the Benjamins have that particular look. I have seen some that have those features that I think the way that some people paint them kind of like accentuate 
it to look more like ape-like than an actual black baby and I think or monkey-like and I think that is why the whole community goes into an uproar but when they're tastefully painted and done I've said oh I like that you know what I mean um so I just wanted to put that out there um I just I actually I'm one of those people I'm a deep thinker I overanalyze things I overthink things obviously um and but it's just you know one of them things but I absolutely love this baby and I do honestly on a serious note I know I was joking and laughing and just really having a good time <laughs> with uh the whole reveal yesterday but I I also I honestly want to apologize to everybody let me stop laughing see I can't stop laughing um but I honestly seriously owe the community an apology for it <laughs> Okay, maybe it's a nervous giggle because I'm sitting here trying to be serious and I keep wanting to laugh. But I do feel like I owe the community. No, I really don't. I don't owe y'all nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it real. I don't really owe y'all nothing because I still stand by it. This baby has a huge head. Like, I'll tell you what it is for me. I honestly still believe that the face of this baby is more mature than the actual size of the baby can i say that it looks more mature this face look more like toddler like versus a six month old baby or three to six month old baby even more mature than maybe a nine month old baby this baby face look like it should be standing walking or something like that mind you my grandbaby is two years old and this is kind of the features I'm seeing in her now, not when she was newborn. So I don't know. It's, it, I think that's a, a big thing of when I seen the sculpt, you know, just in its raw um, state. Oh, I should have just brought the blank in here to, to show you guys. But um, yeah, so that's, that's where it's at. And I'm still thinking, considering putting my Benjamin head on a toddler with toddler limbs. Um, I'm just going to have to find the right limbs and put them, put it together and see how it looks. Uh, because I do think this baby would do great on like some standing limbs or some bigger baby limbs. Um, the head circumference is bigger than the Mili by Peng, Ping Lao. Um, like I think her head, her head is, yeah, I think her head is actually bigger than the Ping Lao heads. Um, so it's definitely, I definitely, I think my, my review, honestly, in all honesty was definitely accurate as far as the head being really big. Um, but I understand some babies do have big heads and I did have two big head children. Um, <laughs> my son mainly, his head looked like he was just going to tip over, but you know, he's real cute now. My son is like beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Even it, I know I'm a little biased, but I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Can't take the boy nowhere without somebody trying to talk to my son. I'd be like, that's my baby. Leave him alone. But anyway, um, but yeah, he's he don't have a huge head now. Um, <laughs> he grew into it. But anyway, just thought I would say that. And I also just wanted to come back a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in and see if I can get a little better on like her limbs and stuff. I just, I'm still also as equally shocked with her painting I thought I saw what I saw with Jennifer's painting but I just wasn't sure so that's why that's the thing where I, I like to see babies in person get it in my hand look at it and you know then I can really really fully speak on it so I'm really excited about about you know this purchase and I'm hoping fingers crossed that she will be like a forever baby like Joey and, um, well, I'm going to say Joey. I don't even want to say, I want to say my Taraji, of course, is a forever baby because I painted her to look like my daughter. But, and, you know, um, I can always paint myself another baby. So I tend to hold on babies that's not painted by me even more so than the ones that I paint myself. But I definitely don't plan to ever let go of Joey. And I think I... 
Um, and I, I'm trying not to compare artist to artist um, because that's not fair. It's not, you know, it's, I, I don't think other artists appreciate that. So I, I shouldn't do that. So I think I kind of said something about her work compared to Plika's work yesterday. And I don't I don't want nobody to take it the wrong way. I think it's a positive thing that they actually have a very similar paint style. Their color palette is uh, similar in some ways. But I think... Oh, there I go again. I was about to do it again. But anyway, um, that is all I got to say. Um... I'm definitely, you know, I'm down with the black girl magic. I am definitely down with, you know, the whole rainbow babies and stuff. I love, you know, I y'all know I collect everything. I collect uh, biracial, AA from all the skin tones to Caucasian babies. I really want me an Asian baby and all of that, like in my collection, you know, but I do primarily do collect my AA babies, but it's harder for me to find babies out there um, that I feel really hit hit the marks for um, black babies. I, I have very few people that I trust to paint my AA babies. And um, especially when you go into the higher brackets, high end and that price is real high, I'm not finna pay you top dollar for no smutty looking um black baby because that's not the way our babies look you know we do have some darker pigments and shading and stuff like that but if you i i you know so it's nice when i find other ones and i wanted to share that with everybody and even though i paint aa i don't root that much i don't paint a lot i can't paint for the whole community some people might not like my style and i just think you know, from, you know, one painter to the nut to the other, I just think that she does an amazing job and I just, I just have to celebrate it, you know? So I'm excited about that, um, to be able to share that with you guys. So that is probably one of the main reasons I decided to share her. Um, I think Miss Glenn recommended Milani. I think my last baby name was Milani. Um, my Cody Bear was Milani because that's my grandbaby middle name. Um, I had, they were a Milan and Milani. And so I was thinking about doing that with her, but because she's closer to my daughter's skin tone, I am seriously considering naming her Lily or in saving the Milani for when I get my chocolate baby done. I don't know. So I'm still in between. So I don't know. I also like the name Maya, but spelled with the A. I like that. Um huge fan of Maya Angelo. Rest in peace in power. Um so I do I I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it because I want it to also fit her too. But she does look like a Milani. She also looked like a Lily. Um, and I had my, what it was, Lizzie, and I sold my Lizzie, and she was a silicone, which also reminded me of my daughter. You know, when I first started collecting, fun, cool fact about me, um, even over the period of time that I've collect, collected, I don't have favoritism within my children, but I will tell you the most babies that I've, I've collected have had something in common with my firstborn. Then the second thing that's a fun fact, I've had more Gabbies in my collection than one <laughs> one person should ever should. I've had a Gabby from way back. I've had Gabbies after Gabbies after Gabbies, even before my real baby Gabby uh, even came into the picture. And then of course, when I named her, I had to name her Gabby. <laughs> um, and uh, my mom used to call her Gabby Gabby Gale. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's that. So that's two fun facts that you guys can know about me as a collector. I'm just really happy. I, like I said, you know, life happens. A lot goes on. I'm an emotional person. I'm a very critical thinker. If you don't want to hear anything about, you know, 
black history, black love, black self-awareness, you know, you know, skip this video, but I'm going to slide pieces of that sometime in there because I am black. <laughs> so, and I'm not going to deny that or hide that. I am a proud black woman. Um, but I love this art and I, and there's no butt in it. I love this art. I love collecting beautiful black dolls, um, as well as beautiful Caucasian dolls and stuff like that. But I don't want, um, I don't want to have to feel like I gotta explain myself or anything like that. Cause I don't see nobody explaining themselves about anything else, but um, as far as, you know, why they collect, what they collect. But I think it's cool when you share it because sometimes it's kind of weird. Like what, what you get drawn to, um, you just, just never know. So anyway, um, this girl has already climbed the charts. She's definitely special. I know you guys probably have seen, I actually sold Zora, believe it or not. But once again, she has a very special mommy. And I love that when my special, special babies go to special, special mommies. So it's pretty cool. Um, sometime I gotta let go in order to, uh, you know, keep growing my collection into where I want it to be, where it's very diverse. And I want to have other pieces of art. I don't wanna just have my own work um, in my collection. So for sure. Um, a little bit, I'm kinda, so, and let me also say this, I may not post as many pictures actually of her on my Instagram. I, I'm kind of starting to lean more towards keeping my Instagram page more of just my babies that I paint, um, just just because. Um, however, you know, because I just get tired of having to keep tagging, this is not my work, this is not my work, da 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 da. So it just, you know. But, trust me, I will be sharing this little girl on videos, definitely. Um, I will probably start tagging some photos along in the videos for you guys as well. So we will get to see more of her because I think she's just too amazing not to share, right? So, um, hopefully for those that was on the fence and was wondering, because I see a lot of um, Jennifer babies going up for sale here recently, and I'm like, yeah, um, people are crazy not to be buying them. Just FYI, if you can get your hands on one, get it now, because guess what? People going to start thinking about it now and be like, uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be keep lowering my price on my baby. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys, and you guys have a great day, great rest of the week, weekend, whatever it is, whenever this posts, and we will see you in the next video. I know I owe you a Joey, no, you know what? Let me stick Joey in here. Uh, I know I owed y'all a Joey, a Joey video. He's Joey. Um, so Joey is, he is also an amazing baby. Um, Joey looked like he's definitely mixed with something going on. Um, Wherein, uh, I almost called her Nova. <laughs> just, I was just gonna say Nova, I don't know why. Where Miss Lily over there is, uh, just trying out the name. She is definitely fully, like, black, fully black baby, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, like, all her, her undertones, her blushing, all that stuff, just really, it's like, black, black baby. If that makes sense like she's not mixed with nothing she doesn't give me biracial at all you know and that's another whole subject for a whole nother day i see like these super super chocolate babies and people be like oh these are biracial i guess it could be but there's nothing wrong with just calling it what it is it's aa it's african-american baby or black baby kind of look like that but i guess we can like we said we can call our babies whatever we want so um but we know Joe is mixed because, you know, his daddy is Joe from you. So, you know, we ain't going to talk about that. We don't want to talk about Joey. Because we don't want his daddy to be upset. And anybody got something rude to say about my boy, I will say his daddy for you. <laughs> so, yeah. These are my babies. I hope they will be in my collection forever, ever, ever. I pray to God that nothing, and I mean that sincerely, I, that nothing major ever happens where I 
have to sell them. So far, my selling has been very selective and volunteer. <laughs> so hopefully um, it doesn't ever come to that. But thank you guys for watching. And oh, Joey is painted by Belira Baby, FYI. Um, thank you guys. It's a long video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.